So I'm with Tony Haddad, who is the president of the Circle of Seven, and we've just had a great day today and uh, a great way to start, start a Monday, giving away money. So first of all, Tony, uh, if you can explain what is the group uh, this, of the Circle of Seven? The Circle of Seven is a uh, group of uh, seven individual uh, members who have been together now for over 20 years uh, with some changes in the membership but um, seven, rep seven members of our community that uh, are passionate about uh, the Windsor-Essex area, about uh, helping our community and supporting those uh, projects, organizations and individuals uh, who may have a need, who may have uh, a, uh, a project or who may have a, uh, a challenge that uh, our funding contribution can make a difference in their lives and help them uh, as they uh, make progress and they proceed with their project or on an individual basis. So today you had the great privilege of giving away $50,000 and uh, targeted to five different organizations. First of all, can you just identify the five different organi recipient organizations? Yes, it was uh, a great uh, honor to be able to share the proceeds of our Denim and Diamonds Gala, which is an annual event that we hold at the Children's Aid Society. And the beneficiaries <coughs> this year were the uh, Canadian Mental Health Association, Hotel Du Grace Healthcare, the House of Sofracy, the uh, University of Windsor, and the Children's Aid Society. Now, how are these recipients uh, selected out of the many, many needy uh, organizations in the community? Well, we do receive uh, proposals from various organizations that are seeking support uh, for a project or for an, en an endeavor or undertaking that they're involved with. And uh, we as a group uh, consider those requests and uh, make a decision to support those organizations who can help us as well as we can help them through uh, sharing of the proceeds from our fundraising efforts. Uh, in addition, we have uh, pledges that we've made over five years to both the University of Windsor as well as the Children's Aid Society. And uh, those uh, are uh, an annual contribution that we make over a five-year period and uh, for a major project that both those organizations undertook. And we were happy to be uh, a partner and a supporter of that uh, fundraising campaign for both the university and for the Children's Aid Society. Now, they say imitation is the finest form of flattery and uh, the Circle of Seven and what it does here in the Windsor-Essex community is now being modeled elsewhere. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, when we were holding an annual golf tournament uh, and raising funds for the various community projects, we uh, had some support from friends in the uh, London area and uh, they were embarking on a fundraising campaign to support prostate cancer with the London Health Sciences Centre and they modeled their golf tournament after ours which was a uh, reception on the Sunday evening uh, with the live and silent auctions followed by a, uh, a golf tournament uh, and auction going the next day. Ray Bradley uh, was one of the uh, leaders of that organization in London and is an associate member of our Circle of Seven and uh, they conducted tournaments in the London market for a number of years with all of the proceeds going to prostate cancer equipment and the London Health Sciences Centre in London that benefits uh, patients uh, in the southwestern Ontario area. Tony, thank you very much. Thank you, Joe.